students of class 7 myself chigna patel from saraswat international academy today i am going to teach you social science chapter number 2 motions of the earth part 3 students in part 1 and part 2 we completed our explanation so students today we are going to write notes so students first you open your textbook and write 15 to 20 thread words from your textbook and now start writing question number 1 a choose the correct alternative from those given below each question first one when it is day time in india comma in which of the following countries comma will it be night question mark option a australia option b south africa option c japan option d canada so answer is b canada second one in which direction does the earth rotate on its axis question mark option a west to east option b east to west option c north to south option d south to north answer is a west to south third one earth experiences day and night because option a the sun rotates on its axis option b the earth rotates on its axis option c the sun revolves around the earth option d the earth revolves around the sun answer is option b the earth rotates on its axis fourth one seasons occur on the earth because option a the sun revolves around the earth option b the sun rotates on its axis option c the earth revolves around the sun option d the earth rotates on its axis so answer is option c answer is option c the earth revolves around the sun fifth one what angle does the earth make with its axis question mark option a 45.5 degree option b 66.5 degree option c 90 degree option d 23.5 degree so answer is option d 23.5 degree sixth one what angle does the earth make with its orbit option a 66.5 degree option b 45.5 degree c option is 23.5 degree option d is 90 degree so answer is a 66.5 degree seventh one on 21st june comma on which latitude do the sun rays fall straight question mark option a on the tropic of capricorn option b on the arctic circle option c on the equator option d on the tropic of cancer so answer is b on the tropic of cancer a to n on 22nd december comma on which latitude do the sun rays fall straight question mark option a on the equator option b on the tropic of capricorn 
option c on the tropic of cancer option d on the antarctic circle so answer is option b on the tropic of capricorn students we completed eight mcqs now give another heading question 1b fill in the blanks with appropriate words or numbers first one the earth completes one rotation on its axis in dash hours in 24 hours second one the earth takes dash days to complete one revolution around the sun earth takes 365 days so answer is 365 days third one the earth revolves around the sun at the speed of dash kilometer per hour so 1760 kilometers per hour fourth one the earth rotates on its axis at the equator at dash kilometer per hour so answer is 1670 kilometers per hour fifth one the sun comma or comma moon and other set stellar bodies are dash in the universe rotate answer is rotate sixth one the movement of the earth on its axis is called dash of the earth rotation seventh one dash happen due to the rotational movement of the earth so the answer is day and night eighth one dash happen due to the revolutionary movement of the earth so the answer is seasons ninth one the path along which the earth moves around the sun is called dash of the earth orbit tenth one seasons happen due to the dash of the earth tilted axis 11th one on dash june comma the sun rays fall straight over the tropic of cancer on 21st june 12th one on dash december comma the sun rays fall straight over the tropic of capricorn so answer is on 22nd december 13th one between 21st march to 21st september comma it takes dash in no northern hemisphere and dash in southern hemisphere so summer in northern hemisphere and winter in southern hemisphere 14th one the sun is seen at even 12 midnight in dash country of europe in norway country of europe so students we completed our fill in the blanks question 1b now give the heading question number 2a write whether the following statements are true or false first one the earth rotates on its axis true second one the orbit of the earth is circular answer is false third one the distance between the earth and the sun remains the same through the year so the answer is false fourth one the moon revolves around the earth answer is true
fifth one days and nights occur due to the tilted axis of the earth the answer is false sixth number days and nights are longer and shorter due to the tilted axis of the earth answer is true seventh one straight sun rays fall to the north and south of equator the answer is true eighth one regions getting more sunshine experience winter and those getting less sunshine experience summer so the answer is false ninth one between 21st march to 21st september comma the southern hemisphere experiences winter so answer is true tenth one between middle of may till the end of july comma the sun does not set in norway so answer is true question 2b match the following for section a and section b first one rotation causes day and night day and night revolution causes season the earth revolves around the sun equal day and night 21st march midnight sun norway students we completed question 2b match the following now question number 3 answer the following questions in one or two sentences each first one how many types of motions does the earth show name them answer there are two motions of the earth first rotation bracket moving on its axis and second revolution bracket around the sun question number 2 what is rotation question mark answer the earth rotates like a spinning top on its imaginary axis at a speed of 1670 km per hour over the equator this motion of the earth is called rotation full stop the earth takes 24 hours bracket one day to complete one full circle full stop this is also called dainik gati inverted comma dainik gati of the earth full stop question number 3 what is revolution question mark while rotating on its axis comma the earth also moves around the sun full stop this motion of the earth is called revolution the earth takes 365 days bracket one year to complete one full revolution around the sun full stop so comma this is also called the vaishik gati of the earth full stop question number 4 How much time does the earth take to complete one revolution question mark answer the earth takes 365 days bracket one year bracket close to complete one full revolution full stop question number 5 what does inverted comma orbit of the earth inverted comma close mean question mark answer the earth moves in a specific imaginary path in the universe to revolve around the sun full stop this path is called orbit of the earth students write orbit of the earth in inverted comma full stop
Question number six. Why does the distance between the Earth and the Sun not remain same throughout the year? Question mark. Or give a geographical reason. Colon. Distance between the Earth and the Sun does not remain uniform. Full stop. Answer. Orbit of the Earth is not circular, comma, but it is elliptical or egg-shaped, full stop. So the distance between the Earth and the Sun is not uniform, full stop. Question number 7. At what rate per minute does the Earth revolve around the Sun? Question mark. Answer. The earth revolves around the sun at the rate of 1760 kilometers per minute. Question number 8. What angle does the earth mix with its axis and with its orbit? Question mark. Answer. The earth makes an angle of 23.5 degree with its axis and 66.5 degree with its orbit full stop question number 9 why do sorry why do days and nights become longer and shorter question mark answer the earth revolves around the sun keeping her axis inclined in the same angle full stop so the days and the nights are longer and shorter. Full stop. Question number 10. When do sun rays fall vertical on the Tropic of Cancer? Question mark. Answer. The sun rays fall vertical over the Tropic of Cancer on 21st June. Full stop. Question number 11. When do Sun rays fall vertical on the Tropic of Capricorn. Question mark. Answer. The sun rays fall vertical over the Tropic of Capricorn on 22nd December. Full stop. Twelfth one. On which days do sun rays fall vertical on the equator? Question mark. Answer. Sun rays fall vertical over the equator only on two days every year. Full stop on 21st March and on 23rd September. Full stop. Question number 13. Why do the North Pole and the South Pole come in front of the sun alternately? Question mark. Answer. The earth revolves around the sun, keeping its axis in the same direction. Full stop. This is why the North Pole and the South Pole come in front of the sun alternately. Full stop. Question number 14. Which seasons prevail over the northern and the southern hemispheres between 21st March to 23rd September. Question mark. Answer. Between 21st March to 23rd September, comma, it is summer in northern hemisphere and winter in southern hemisphere. And the last one is 15 number. How many types of motion are there of the earth? Question mark. Name them. Answer. There are two motions of the earth. First one. Rotation. Bracket. Moving on its axis. Bene. Gati. Second one. Revolution. Bracket. Around the sun. Varshik. Gati. Bracket. Close. So students. Here we completed our question number 1A. Choose the correct option. 1B. Fill in the blanks. 
question 2a true or false question 2b match the column and question 3 answer in one or two sentences students in the next video we will be going with question 4 answer the question briefly and question 5a answer the following questions in 7 to 8 sentences and i hope you will complete your notes at home thank you students